Hello agro lovers, welcome back to your favorite agricultural and agribusiness YouTube channel. On today's episode, I'll be talking about a very, very different uh, topic. It's a kind of different perspective. I'll be talking about the Ukraine and the Russia crisis. But before I do that, I would like to appreciate you all for subscribing to this channel, for telling your friends about what we do on this channel, for the likes, for the comments. I so much appreciate it. And if you are watching for the first time, my name is Lawa Ubushola Lawa, and I'm the agricultural consultant in charge of this channel. This channel is dedicated to profitable and sustainable agriculture, and everything we do on this channel is circular and profitable and sustainable agriculture. So if you are watching for the first time, kindly click on the subscribe button to have access to more of our videos. Thank you so much. Uh, the topic of today, the Russia and Ukraine crisis, what you stand to gain as a Nigerian farmer. Don't get me wrong. This video is in no way promoting the crisis, is in no way uh, praying for the crisis to continue. It's, and it's no way uh, telling anybody to go into the supply of arms and ammunition to either of the side. On this video, I'll be rendering my own, uh, my own view on how Nigerian farmers can take advantage of what is happening between Russia and Ukraine to make some money for themselves, to position themselves better in the, uh, in the agricultural space. So if you notice, in the past two weeks, uh, we've, we've, we've been experiencing a kind of uh, conflict, regional conflict from uh, Ukraine and uh, Russia for one reason or the other. Many people have lost their life, many people have lost uh, their property, a lot of people have become a uh, refugee. And as an human being who have blood flowing in their vein, the best thing for us to do is to pray for them and to pray for the crisis to come to an end very soon. So having said that, I'll be talking about how you can take advantage of this crisis as a Nigerian farmer. What you stand to gain as a Nigerian farmer. So, you might be wondering, what do we stand to gain as a Nigerian farmer? Let me call your attention to one thing. Russia and Ukraine together, uh, they are responsible for over 33% of the global wheat export market, which means they are the largest exporter of wheat in the global market. Okay? Having said that, Nigeria on the other hand, uh, we rely heavily on wheat importation to make, to, to make up uh, our local demand. According to the uh, Nigerian uh, Bureau of Statistics last year, in 2021 alone, Nigeria spent over 324 billion naira exporting wheat alone into the country. And this, is, uh, this uh, represents close to 5% of total imports into the country last year. Sounds surprising, right? This is a huge money for us. Huge money for us. So, looking in the direction of this, the crisis happening in Russia and the, uh, Russia and Ukraine, this is already affecting lives and property in that region, and it will tell on their output in the coming months concerning our wheat. So if the major producers, the major producers of the commodity are engaged in the conflict, definitely their cultural production, producing wheat for them will not be 
at the same level again. It will reduce. It's, if it's, it's a short thing. It will reduce. So now we are having the major supplier of wheat globally engaging themselves in crisis. What does this mean for Nigerian farmer? This actually means not only for Nigerian farmer. What does it mean for Nigeria? This actually means Nigeria who is who depend heavily on importation of wheat. There will be scarcity and reduction in the in the quantity of wheat available for export in the international market. Not forgetting that the major producers are in war. They are in war. And when nations go into war, production reduces, especially in the agricultural space. So demand and supply forces will now set in. And when this happens, we have lower supply from the giants of wheat production globally. And Nigeria as a country uh, imports over 90% of its wheat. So what does that mean? And the, the people, the, the giants of uh, wheat production are not coming forward. This means that Nigeria will be having a shortfall in exporting wheat. And what does this mean for local consumption and local production? There will be rise in the price, number one. There will be rise in the price of the available wheat locally. The producers and processors that make use of wheat in their production, they will look for alternative locally to sustain their production. And as a Nigerian farmer, this is where you, you actually have the advantage of coming in and going into the wheat production. In the most time, definitely we will be seeing the result of all this. We will be seeing the result of all this because the price of wheat is definitely going to skyrocket because we have the major producers at work presently. And producing wheat is the least, is producing wheat in Russia and uh, Ukraine is the least on the agenda right now. So, as a Nigerian farmer, this is an angle you can come in because wheat is a very, very, uh, very, very important. Let me just put it that way. It's a very, very important commodity, be it in production of uh, processed food, be it in the production of uh, uh, staple food. And you know, wheat, many industries, many companies depend on wheat to produce. Companies producing, producing uh, uh, flour, wheat flour, which the bakery, the bakers use, they depend on wheat, wheat flour. Companies producing uh, spaghetti, producing pasta, they depend on wheat to produce. Companies producing uh, biscuits, uh, all these confectionaries, they depend on wheat to produce. And company, uh, all these bakers producing cake, producing snacks and pastries, these are the industries that depend wholly on, uh, on wheat for their production. So if they must produce, they must source for an alternative to make up for what we used to get from the export market, which will, which will be reduced and the price will, will just skyrocket. So as a Nigerian farmer, if you are a farmer and you are into crop production, this is the time for you. From my own side, I think starting from next month, we'll start experiencing the increase in the increase in prices of wheat uh, commodities, such as wheat flowers and its products. So as a Nigerian farmer, if you know what you are doing, this is the right time for you. Because all those companies producing wheat flour, producing pasta, producing all this and that, that are wheat that are wheat based, they will look for a local alternative of what they are getting from the export market. Because the price will be too much, and people will struggle to get what is coming from the uh, the export market. And mind you, take at least twenty percent of what is coming from 
Russia and China and uh, Ukraine from what will be available in the export market. So this will force companies like Dangote Flower, Honeywell Flower, Flower Mill of Nigeria to look around locally, to source for wheat locally. So this might actually be the time for you to smile to the bank. So take this as a tip off, take this as an advice, take it as a profit tip coming from me to you. With this, I've come to the end of today's topic. If you find this video interesting and valuable, kindly share it with your friends and give it a like. And if you are watching for the first time, this channel, kindly, if you are watching this channel for the first time, kindly click on the subscribe button to have access to more of our videos. Thank you so much. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your time. See you on my next video.